Hey everybody and welcome back to Embird. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and we are going to start doing some quick tips and hints on Embird. So one of the first things I'd like you guys to do is left click on edit. Now I'm in studio which is for digitizing and go to preferences and here you can change quite a few things on it if you want guidelines uh, you could change the colors on them 3d preview which is pretty cool um, selection this is a nice one so highlight selected objects I think that's nice to have on hoop you can change your hoop here and uh, set it up how you like it save this is where I want you guys to go now auto save is probably gonna save your life so click on that and backup files what it does when it saves it or when you're done with it it puts a b dot b a k file in your directory so yes or no on that one if you want an extra file but autosave for sure absolutely for sure and don't forget to click apply after you do it because otherwise it won't work now i always go back in just to check, yep, I have my auto save on and it's going to automatically save it. So if you have a power out or something happens to your computer or someone shuts it off by accident, you won't lose your work. So again, a real lifesaver. Um, you can set up your grid uh, however you want. You can change the grid color. Now it's the color of these dotted lines. So if you want something brighter, go ahead that that's helpful um, edit mode so show parameters of course edges segment ends and nodes so you can change the colors if for some reason you don't like these colors so the square nodes are going to be red and the the curved nodes are going to be this purpley color so you can uh, just click on it and change the color but if you want to I just tend to leave it all how it is. I don't have any issues with anything. Um, I kind of like it. So if you click on um, that too, I meant to show that before. If you click on the 3D preview, you have a whole bunch, bunch to pick from. And this will be in the background. And it looks kind of cool. I particularly like this one. I just think it, it looks really cool. So anyways, if you're just starting with Embered, make sure you do autosave and back up your files. So thanks everyone for watching. There'll be more videos videos coming your way. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to let me know that you want more videos just like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.